I'm about to do something you will hardly ever see me do. Trout fish in a crowded spot. Maybe there are fishermen who can get used to this or even thrive in this situation, but to me it just feels strange and wrong. And yet, here I am. You guys know I always try to be honest with you, shoot you straight, lead you right, teach you when I can. But the truth is, I've been on some loser trout trips lately at some of my better spots. It is true that a few well-known spots in Eastern North Carolina typically do hold large numbers of winter trout. And if you don't mind the company, it can be worth it. I made sure to get there early and hopefully locate some fish before it got too crowded. Hey, thanks for checking out the channel. I hope you guys will subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Here we go. This first fish was hooked on a Paul Brown fat boy, quickly becoming one of my favorite lures because of the fact that you can fish it a tad bit faster than the MR-17 and trout still hit it. Here's a look at the Paul Brown I'm throwing this morning. It's a good bait. Thinking now that I may have located some fish, I decided to go ahead and put out a live bait. If you guys watch my videos, I fish with live bait whenever and wherever I can. A winter trout can be hard to hook on live bait. My theory is that the trout will often grab a minnow and swim with it for a while before he actually eats it. It's just a lazy winter trout behavior. Sure enough, the live bait gets taken down pretty quickly. I'm fishing a slip bobber and I've got it set to six feet. I want the bait pretty close to the bottom, but not on it. I'm using a circle hook this morning, though sometimes in this scenario I might use a small treble hook. Unfortunately, this fish pulls off. When this happens about half the time, I don't think it's the trout actually hooked, but just holding the minnow in his jaw. I put another live bait out in the same spot. It could be the same trout or maybe another, but this time the circle hook does its job and the fish is hooked. Here I hook another trout on the Paul Brown. By this time, I've got other boats on all sides of me, as well as boats running in different directions. That feels like a good one. I got boats coming in here like crazy. I already got two boats on top of me. This feels like a pretty good fish. This one might go 20. I'm sure you've been in this situation where you just hate to bring a fish in the boat with so many eyes looking around to see who's catching what. It's a quiet morning and nothing is going unnoticed. This next takedown on the bobber was exactly what I'd been waiting for. It felt so solid. I just knew it was a huge trout. This feels like a solid trout, y'all. Freaking gar.
Now, generally speaking, if you've got a good trout bite going, you really don't want to draw any attention to yourself. But on this quiet morning, this gar might as well have been an atomic bomb going off beside my boat. As hard as I tried to keep him calm, I knew he was going to raise a ruckus. What are you going to do? solid. Here I've hooked a trout on the MR17 mirror lure. If I feel like a bite has slowed down even a hair like maybe it was doing here, switching lures is usually a good way to generate a strike. My camera battery died and I didn't get the hookup on this fish, but he ate the live bait yet again. He managed to swallow the hook, but that's okay because I had planned on keeping two fish for dinner. Did I mention how much I love fishing around crowds? Awesome, awesome. At this point, I'm just laughing. If I got upset about all this traffic, it would take all the fun and enjoyment out of this trip. I knew what I was signing up for when I came here. And honestly, it worked out okay. Here's a look at what I was throwing on this trip. From right to left, the three inch DOA cow shad, always a good fish locator in any season. The Paul Brown fat boy, the four inch trout trick in pink and chartreuse, and finally the MR17 rust bucket mirror lure. Thanks for watching as always. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section below. Remember to follow me on Instagram for up to date action. See you next time.